Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, install and use the ZSNES emulator on Linux. So my version of Linux is Linux Mint, so, but it should work on other distros of Linux as well. So let's get started. So you um, to start terminal it's Alt Control T. So sudo apt get um, update first, and it's going to ask for my password. Sudo apt get install zsnes. I already installed it, but that's what you have to type in. I'll leave it in the video descriptions. So I'm just going to start ZSNES. Okay, it started. Um, first thing you have to do is you need to configure the controls. So you just click here, put up, down. I, I did that with the arrow key, but I'm, I'm going to use my controller. So I'm using a Logitech, I think it's a F310 uh, USB gamepad. So you just up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, the left, and the right. So that's it. It's all set. Next thing you could do is change the video. Um, I'm going to set it at that. Okay, that's it. Let's load a game. So in my home directory, I put my games <coughs> in a directory called games, ROMs, and Super Nintendo. That's how I set it. And here you could type in, no, let's first start a game and press exit and then go back to load. And now you could type in the game, like Area 88, or Castlevania. Super Castlevania. <laughs> then enter, start it. This emulator runs pretty good. CSNES is the same company that made um, the Nestico emulator. 
back in the late 1990s or mid 1990s. I'm not really sure. Whoops. Okay, jump. escape to get out of it and I'm going to look for another game let's see street fighter alpha This runs pretty good. Street Fighter Alpha, one of my favorite games. Let's see what else? Area 88. This is the Super Famicom version.
game runs pretty good. Pretty good. Hats. I think that only applies for micro windows based uh, operating systems. I have another video tutorial about ZSNES. It's in it's in greater it's in more detail, so I'll leave that in the video descriptions and and the end cards and everything. So I think that's it. Um, so let me exit out of here. So if you want to transfer um, games or ROMs to your uh, Linux based operating system from let's say a uh, regular Windows based computer, all you need is a USB uh, flash drive and you have to format it into NTFS format and this will uh, enable you to rec re enable Linux to recognize your file system in your USB drive and this would enable you to transfer the files from the USB drive to your Linux based computer that's what I basically did so, and I just put it into um, put it into this directory called games and ROMs basically that's it so um, I'll show you that USB uh, drive that I have so it's this, it's this uh, US PNY USB uh, flash drive which you can see right there let me turn on the light so you can see better so this thing right here So it's just a regular 64 gigabyte USB 3 flash drive and 
just going to put it into my uh, computer and it's going to detect it okay that means it's, it is detected so it's uh, basically right right there so when I put it in there it's just right there so I just go to home that that is where my main directory is and um, I just created a folder called called games you could just create a new folder here and type it in and everything that was in um, let's say the NES folder was just transferred here and that's just basically what I did and the same with every other folder and um, this is the easiest way to transfer ROMs from a Windows based uh, operating system to uh, a Linux based one so you just go here and eject it after you're finished and just pull the USB stick out and that's it okay thanks for watching by Ace 1000KS1975 signing out